Uh, yeah, don't fall over, it's me. <laughs> After a long period of time, and I apologise that it's not chop time. Uh, this is something a bit different, I suppose. Um, and the reason for doing it will become clear in a minute. Christmas is basically gone. That's done for another year, so we're approaching the new year, so I guess I can say Happy New Year to everybody. Anyway, this is what it's about. The other day, this tube turned up. And I looked on the bottom, and it said, oh, that was my address. And then on the top it said, hi, Chris. <laughs> With a nicely turned wood lid. And uh, inside, well, actually, I'm getting the note out that was in there before I come to the goods. Let's see what... This was from Dale Pratt, and I, I hope through doing this video that uh, I can give him a shout-out for his channel because he's, he deserves a lot more viewership than he's getting. Um, I haven't rehearsed this, so I'm all over the place. He's a knife maker, apart from a machinist. He's been making knives for many years and he's done, in this last few months, he's done some absolutely terrific um, examples of knife making. Well worth looking at, even if you don't aspire to be a knife maker, just to watch how somebody does it. So I guess I'll just say he sent me a knife. But I'll come to that in a minute. All right, so he said, uh, he said, the knife is part of my gentleman series of knives. I designed it to be a handy little small game trout and bird type knife. I think it would serve well however you want to use it. The steel is CPM154. Uh, the hardware is 4 and 6 stainless, and the handle uh, is a nice, actually I can't read that word, Dale, claro, walnut. Yeah, walnut. So anyway, that was a fantastic surprise, something I never expected. And, as I said to Dale, it's not just that he's made a beautiful little knife, it's the fact that he made it himself, and he made it specially to send to me. And that counts for a lot. It, it really does. I mean, it's a thousand times uh, more special than just if somebody had bought a knife and sent it. This was made. So anyway, here it is. Let me come in a bit. He made the sheath as well, complete with... Uh, complete with a logo stamp on it. I've got some stills actually and I'll intersperse some stills here and there so you can get a better look. Anyway there is the knife itself also complete with uh, an electrically engraved logo. There's a lot of reflection. Let's go to some stills. Here's the knife and the sheath, the back of the sheath, still some reflection, and uh, the whole thing, knife in the sheath, beautiful stitching, and there's the logo on the back. Love that logo. Another look at the knife in, uh, in toto, plus a leather lanyard. Close up of the blade and the logo and the handle in closer detail. Gorgeous handle, beautifully finished pins. Now the tang is tapered as well as the blade and you can probably see there's a very nice red detail underneath the walnut. Gorgeous! So there you are, a few angles trying to show it off in a bit more detail. 
and it really is a gorgeous little knife. That is sharp. <laughs> really sharp. And it's a useful size blade because you don't always need a, a, a massive blade for a lot of jobs. This would be a fantastic skinning knife amongst other things. And basically it's just a joy to possess. You know, something like this is, is you can take pleasure in actually owning things and that applies sometimes to tools. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many tools I've got which don't get used much but I can look at them and think, oh yeah, it's nice to have one of those or it or them. So anyway, there we are. I won't make this any longer. So I make huge thanks to Dale for this very kind gesture. <laughs> I'm knocked out by it, to be honest. So, uh, to say it again, I'll wish everybody a Happy New Year. Uh, no idea whether I'll get shop time. Certainly, in recent times, it's been, as the English would say, brass monkeys weather. <laughs> yeah, it's very cold. And uh, trying to heat the shop's a bit silly, and all the metal in there is beyond cold and the usual standing problem. So uh, eventually I'll force myself to do something and I might even do another cheat actually. I've got a couple in mind, you never know. Anyway, I hope this finds you all in good or reasonable health and that uh, we can look forward to <laughs> the adventures upcoming in 2020. <laughs> all right. Anyway, good to see you, even if it's brief. And uh, don't forget to look up uh, Dale's channel. Put the link to his channel down below. And look up some of his uh, various knives. He made a very nice bowie, by the way. Alright, take care everybody. Hope to see you sometime later on. Bye for now.